loaded both bikes successfully into the dinghy. Now let's see if we can get in. <laughs> we're gonna go ashore today and we're gonna go to the Calvert Maritime Museum and we're gonna use our bikes to get there. And we're also going to check out some dinner options because Solomon's Island is famous for really good eats. Now this guy's also a, a skate. Correct. A skate. That were bred little babies. From, um, some of them, yes. <laughs> so they kind of hatch out of these little pods. You, um, from hatching, they're probably about a month all the time. So apparently the skates have tiny little teeth, and the uh, rays have these dental plates for crushing food. We brought our shark teeth that we found at Calvert Cliffs along to ask an expert what she thought they might be. So these are both sand tiger shark teeth. You can tell from the little like spikes on either side on this one. This one only has one um, on that side, the beginning of one on that side. Um, and you can see sort of the base is broken on this side, so it's harder oh, yeah. to tell. Mm -hmm. um, but that long shape like that and then those side points are the way to tell the sand tiger shark. Um, and this is a piece of Ekphora, which is the Maryland state fossil. Um, it's an extinct snail. Oh, cool! Um, so it's a part, very small part of the shell. Okay, so they're from the Miocene period, which is what the fossils we're mostly finding in Calvert Cliffs area are from. There was a lot of evidence of sharks, um, especially Solomon's Island area, especially was um, about 200 feet underwater. Um, so a great habitat for big sharks, especially. So you get a lot of evidence of sh sharks and shark teeth, especially. So. All right. What you have here are the whelks. Um, those, all of those big tails have snails in them. Cool. Um, you're getting a really good example of that face right there. Oh my god. Can't see him hanging out. Um, so if you look, yeah. this is Barbara. Oh, Barbara. <laughs> She's a diamondback terrapin. Hello, Barbara. How do you do? You can touch her back and back legs if you'd like. 
and back legs like that. Oh, wow. oh. <laughs> mostly for that reaction. <laughs> So this one right here is what we found a shard of, and it is apparently the uh, state fossil of Maryland. So I'm sure it was not an uncommon occurrence that, uh, that we found it, but it was pretty cool. Now we have a shard of a Maryland state fossil, which is the Ekphora shell. Not what you would have wanted to see coming at you in prehistoric times. <laughs> this is the Megalodon. <laughs> This is Herbie's playground. So if you'll recall from our Thomas Point episode, we talked about screw pile lighthouses. And here's one that we can actually go into. Of course, it's not in its original place like Thomas Point, but we're excited to see what kind of interior this might have. And we're also looking forward to not hearing alarms go off as soon as we get close to it. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of places here to bang the head. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Just look at the right. patterning right. of the Before bottom. Out, 1983. 1883. 1883. Yes. I would totally live in this. Careful who you're saying that to. <laughs> Look. This is so, oh my god. Yeah, I could live here. This is beautiful. So cute. That's the coal room. Oh yeah, I'd say so. We're going up to the last floor now. Just kidding, there's another one after this. That's three floors. It's three floors, wow. Ooh, this is a fog signal bell recording. Wow. Those are waiting for the bell ringer. Here we are at the top. I like how that's the light. Yes, here's the little light. So here we are on the porch on the outside of the lighthouse. And we get a nice view of how beautiful this area really is. Solomon's Island is very boat centric. <laughs> so it's got a lot of fancy dwellings and it's just basically, its entire shoreline is made up of piers and marinas. <laughs> so the people here really know what they're talking about when it comes to boating. We haven't run into any other cruisers while we've been here, but we've been doing more touristy things. And this Maritime Museum is really worth the visit. It's been wonderful. Here around the side is the little outhouse. <laughs> it's even smaller than our bathroom. Although I have to say, I'd be able to live here quite comfortably. This is the Drum Point Lighthouse, and here we have a picture of the very first lighthouse, what do you call them, keepers, lighthouse keepers, Benjamin Gray and his wife. This is an original screw from this lighthouse. And as you can see, 
it is completely solid crazy heavy to move so when they moved it over here to this location they pushed it off the side of a barge so here's a map where you can see where we are right now and where this lighthouse used to be the drum point lighthouse this sleek looking boat was built in 1936 and was donated to the museum in 1989 with in need of major repairs. So here it is all fixed up. It was used for crabbing and oystering and all those sorts of things. Very unique design. I am loving the colors of this Potomac River Dory Let's See built in 1934. Hey guys, <laughs> we're just both admiring the same boat. My parents have just joined us. Hey. Hello. Hello. Whoops. How you doing? <laughs> Hello <to> world. <laughs> Turn to Solomon's Island's Solomon's Island Winery tasting room with the whole family. We can't wait to let them taste the pumpkin wine. It's a beautiful night, so we can sit outside with a glass and then go get dinner. Watermelon, white merlot. That was really good. Yes. The watermelon. It's you like have watermelon. that one? I don't have that one. So, we have locked our bikes up here. We're gonna go into what everybody says is the best restaurant on this island, uh, the Lighthouse Restaurant, and we're gonna see how it fares. So, we've had a really great day. We went into the museum. We did a bike, round around, bike ride around the neighborhood. Um, we've been able to explore much better since the weather was beautiful today, uh, and we had a leisurely morning on top of it. So it's been really nice, all in all, Solomon's Island. Pretty good stop, not a whole lot to do, but we kept ourselves busy and found ways to have fun and it's been good. No regrets. We're gonna go take a look at the water while we're waiting for our table. <laughs> Next time on Sailing Wisdom, we say goodbye to Herbie's parents and we begin our sail towards St. Mary's River and we explain the ins and outs of the monitor wind vane. Thanks so much for watching and if you want to become a sailing buddy, you can click the link down below to our Patreon account. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And when you click subscribe, make sure you click on the little bell in the annotation. That way you get notifications as soon as our next video is uploaded. Thanks so much!